I think Anna Delvey. I didn't know anything, and uh, and it was really fun when I like told younger people, like my brother or something, that uh, you know I'm going to do this show about this young woman who who conned a lot of people, and then you know my brother's like <gasps> Anna Delvey, like he was like so excited, and yeah, so I uh, I got to come to it this way. They might have a story. Her name is Anna Delvey or Anna Sorokin, no one's sure. She's either a rich German heiress or she's flat broke. The charges are insane. You know, Shonda was interested in a lot more than just adapting a salacious, you know, kind of rich people story, right? Like she was interested in so much more about, about how people treat each other, how people deal with each other. Who, who's privy to whose information? You know, um, why? What are the sanctions for? Are the sanctions correct? Um, do they need to be adjusted? Um, you know, how, how far can you get into somebody's life without harm being done? You know, think all of these things. She is everything that is wrong with America right now. I am famous. I mean, I know why our telling of it captivates me, but I, it's it's honestly still a question I have of what about her actual story has has lasted this you know already like it, it, it's got legs and people still care about it and I think that's wonderful obviously selfishly I think it's wonderful um, but it is sort of surprising but yeah like we're living the actual phenomenon of her gripping personality you know she definitely does remind you of those of the types of people that that do kind of just grip on um, on the people that they meet and they just make them want to please them. And so I think that society is doing that <laughs> in a weird way. And I'm part of it. Millions of dollars. Hi, Anna. I just had some questions. I have a question. What are you wearing? You look poor. It's something I really, I, I, connected to with playing Vivian was that she just really, really loves her craft. She loves the craft of journalism the way that I love the craft of acting. I mean, I think on the very surface, she and I both are really, really fast mental processing. You know, like we're, we've just got a ton of information and we're, and it's all, it's all game. So Jessica is um, is one of our co-producers. So she she's given our blessing all the way um, from the get-go. And I, like we you know we, we didn't have like lunches. You know we didn't do that sort of thing because I I actually was tasked with not matching. I'm not matching her. Some of our our cast members um, had that assignment to you know to be playing a real person that is is known and and um, and to match them. And, and mine we were fictionalizing. Um, so we're very, very inspired, obviously. We're, the article's the article. But because the article is the thing that we were keeping most closely matched, that is sort of what I went with. I went with all of the written word that I could. I read all of Jessica's articles. I read all of her notes. Um, she's, she, she's a copious note taker, and I and thank you. <laughs> um, you know, especially as we were discussing, for, discussing for such a cerebral um, character, it almost feels like the written word you're gonna, you're, you're gonna unlock a lot more through their voice um, uh, on the page, and um, and I just felt like it was that that was my way in. It, it was it was like a I don't know it was like a decoding um, the written word, and I loved that. It helped me with with all my choices. I think Anna Delvey, you know, is up to her, and uh, yeah, I think I think she's I think she's impossible to know. Um, I never met her personally, so I'm not going to really get into who she is, but you know, I, again, another question, how much can you ever know a person, right? Is your, is the way you see green, the way I see green, none of us are going to know like ever. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's for her to know and it's for other people to, um, to determine how much it matters to them. I hope that people, it's like the slow burn that I always hope for after a show, you know? I, I really hope that, you know, as they walk around in their own lives, making their own choices, they they have another platform upon which to, to decide 
um, you know, what they think is good and bad, what they think is right and wrong, what is okay with them about the way people treat other people. You know, I feel like we present so many great and important and relevant questions about today's, we use the word society so much, but it's true, um, you know, about today's society that I think that, you know, an audience member would be remiss uh, to not adopt some of those questions themselves. You know, so that's, that's I just hope that they, they come, you know, come out of it with, with, with some, some personal debate. It's good. It's good. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.